So let's take a look and let's analyze their. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's... You are having way too much fun. <laughs> Hello to all the hair besties in the land. I'm so excited. This is Kevin. He was in my Hi, Naked guys. to You music video. Isn't he hot? And then we have Supple. His Hello. name is Everett. Your name is Everett. Nora, our artistic team members here with us today. Hi, guys. And we are introducing the Shadow Ash. It's a secret, because it's in the shadows. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just really excited. <laughs> we are going to lift up these boys' hair. As you can see, they're naturally dark. A lot of people love to get ashy brown hair, because nobody wants to see brassy hair, right? Their hair is virgin, so that's going to make it a nice, clean, even. I like taking your virginity away. <laughs> Are you guys ready to lose your virginity today? Uh, you didn't prepare me for this. OK, boys, come on. I think we need to put their body condom on to protect them. You are losing your virginity. We want to make sure you're protected. Safety first. Safety first. He definitely is a level five for sure. He's definitely a level two and some parts look like a four so his ends are kind of like a level four and kevin appears to have a little bit of gray hair it's wisdom oh your wisdom huh <laughs> i am going to start off by mixing forever our new shadow ash collection level seven on the routage because he's naturally level five i'm going to use 20 volume and then through the mid shaft i'm going to do a mixture of shadow ash seven and nine together to create eight and then on the ends i'm going to tip him out with shadow ash nine and around his face frame it's actually like a level six in the front which is very normal because the hair around the face is finer it's always lighter around the front my formula for kevin on the routage we're gonna do equal parts shadow ash six and dark shadows with 20 volume one to one and we're just gonna do that on the roots and we're gonna use that to also um routage the routage of course I'm sorry. Routage. it's a really good formula for men specifically because it doesn't show any warmth you'll never see a harsh line of demarcation with this formula and on the mids we're gonna do shadow ash six with 30 volume and for the ends we're gonna do shadow Shadow Ash 7 with 30. Dark Shadow has a lower ammonia level in it. It allows you to still lift the hair with control so you don't have a hot root situation, which happens when we're dealing with anyone with hair as dark as Kevin or myself. Feels um sensational, like you're losing your virginity. All over again. All over again. It, when I look at the level, sometimes it can be confusing. Just take a picture of it and you'll see it in black and white and you'll be able to see the contrast, able to measure what level your client's hair is on. When you're lifting dark hair, the underlying pigments are exposed. And shadow ash is the best option, period. We all need a good ash. Boys, would you want to have like this? <laughs> You do have a good ash, okay? Thank you. Very nice ash. Thank you. As professionals, we have to know that we have to mix multiple formulas to make it look natural. As you can see with my hair, it's, it's lighter around the front. We want to mimic that and make it look natural. Even if you put dark shadows over pre-lightened hair, like if you put it over blonde hair like yours, mm -hmm. it turns to gun metal. Everett's hair is shorter in the back. When I do the base color, I only tap it on the routage and then I run a second formula even just through these ends here. Guys, this lift is amazing. You can see, I could see with my eyes that his retouch is already lightning, but you don't see any warmth. Now for the second formula through the mid shaft here and around the top and through the back, I'm gonna go in with Shadow Ash 7 mixed with Shadow Ash 9. And then I'm gonna do Shadow Ash 9 through the ends. I'm gonna shift to the Dedicate 30 volume developer because I want more acceleration off of the scalp. I'm finishing applying my routage formula, and I'm just being very careful. You're almost like tapping it into the scalpage. Mm -hmm. I just think he's so adorable. Thank you. Yeah, it's funny. Aww. I just want to squeeze him. And... Wait, can I ask you a question? Sure, what's up? Are you straight or gay? I'm straight. The way you guys have been <laughs> well, kind of flirty, I was listen, I was having a hard time. Guy. Well, maybe it's bromance, okay? It, yeah. I like it. It's all good. I was just curious. I think a lot of times when you ask a, a guy that, like, are you gay or something, a lot of guys who are straight, when you ask them that, it makes them feel insecure because all of a sudden they start second-guessing themselves. Is it considered bad because people think the word gay is feminine? A lot of guys, if you show too much sensitivity, then it's like people think you're gay, and then they start trying to, like, overcompensate. <laughs> Being open needs to, like, happen more with men. Sometimes, yeah. like, Straight guys maybe not be as comfortable to be so like playful and flirty. You're very comfortable, so that's why I was. He's curious. confident. Well, it's because I'm secure in the fact that no matter how much we flirt, I know I'd go home with a woman like Nora. Oh! You know what I mean? It's weird because everyone, like until they talk to me, they always think I'm gay. It's I get I'm Asian too. That's like a stereotype I think in America. What? Attractive yeah, okay. Asian men. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Does it change the way you feel about your masculinity? Oh, no, no, it doesn't. So now I'm mixing my second formula. I'm doing Shadow Ash 6 with 30 volume one to one. And that's gonna be for the mids. I left some of his tips out. 30 volume with Shadow Ash 9, and then I left a lot of his fringe. That's where I'm gonna put Shadow Ash 9 formula on. I'm using I mesh think, sheets yeah. um, to kind of help me when I'm laying each section down here so that it's not cross-contaminating. I'm actually just laying the mesh sheet down and repainting over. And this mesh sheet is gonna help with that acceleration. But you can see that your hair is lightening, but it looks so natural. I love this color. I am now mixing my third and final formula, which is Shadow Ash 7 Permanent with 30 volume. Nowadays, we're, we're living in a world that everyone wants to get offended. When I do get offended or something, or somebody says something, I always try to find out where what perspective they're coming from there. That is true. That's smart. Well, you know what it is? Because because sometimes people are uncomfortable watching you do something you're happy with, and that's okay. Can people I... hate people that try people? at anything. They want everyone to just sit there and not try anything. If they do, there will always be people backlashing and saying they can't do it. When I started to get into fitness and building my body, and I started to feel good about my self-image and self-esteem, then people would say, well, that's great because it comes from inside. I was like, no, but I've also changed my body and I'm doing something good for me. And they're like, well, it's not about fitness because now you're going to make people feel bad about their bodies because it's unattainable as an Asian man to have your body. We all come in different shapes and sizes. A lot of women are the ones that experience body shaming and I never really thought about it for like men having yeah. to go through that. You've, you've enlightened me, I have to say. A lot of plus size or bigger women would think that I wouldn't like them. And I'm like, actually, I prefer you over mm. the skinny. Because of the stereotype in yeah, the world. I yeah. actually like, like, really? You're my exact body type. Oh, are you trying to say she's, like, what, no, what, what are you trying to say? No, people think I like, no, I'm sorry. People think I like. What? Okay, 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 okay. everyone here is getting offended. Whole... <laughs> One, two, three. Everyone, everyone is beautiful. beautiful. You can learn a lot from X-Men, right? People X -Men. hate what's different. <gasps> right, because they're mutants. Yep. Because they don't understand. They don't understand. They don't understand. Growing up for you, you you were very insecure about being part Asian, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah you actually. were? Oh, I lived in Grand Junction, like, for 18 years. So you're gonna, you're gonna prominently just white. Do you feel, Kevin, because he's biracial Asian, he's part Korean and Caucasian, that his life would be different than yours? I don't feel, but what I've experienced is that they do have more opportunities. Who's they? Half half Asians. Oh. Especially because I can't see any Asian in you at all. Because I look in the mirror and you don't look like me. Now you make him feel like he doesn't what belong. Is, though, you know, like, I'm gonna embrace okay. him. I don't belong to the Asians or the whites. I've had a friend who's half Asian and we both modeled in Asia together. And he complained to me recently saying, oh, they're not gonna fly me out to Asia. I have to pay on my own expenses to go out there. I'm not doing that shit. I was like, dude, did you know I, I never had that? They never even offered it. They said it was only for women. And, but they were lying and it's really for half Asians too. And I'm like, that's bullshit. You're gonna give half Asians a, a head start and more of an opportunity because they're half Asian. Henry Golding, he's half Asian. He's now considered the leading male of Asians now. And I'm like, he just still don't look like me and he's half Asian. But why does it matter if they're half It does because I will never be half. And there's this new perception of Asian male beauty, which is you have to be a little white. And I'm not. So do you feel less than him because you- No, you people amazing. treat me less than him. I don't. Even though I don't, I don't feel treat less than him. You're saying that if you're half and half, you're not truly an Asian and you're not truly a white person, so. Kind of like Mariah, right? Like she's not black enough for black people or she's not white enough for the white people. And I think it's hard for somebody who has both, you know, like you're mixed white and Asian. Yeah. And so you almost feel like, where is your place? We have to embrace everyone's identity. We're lucky enough that we live in a country that we're a big melting pot. We all come from different backgrounds and I think it's good for us to get to know more people, let them get to know more about us. If we're not gonna stand together, you know, as Asians, if we're thinking it's just, it's just white and you know, black and yellow and whatever. So we might as well just band, everyone just band together. We're Forget all about everything. We're all human. This is why I didn't want to like actually resolve this because I just, knew he'd want us to make out. We're gonna, we're gonna, process. We're gonna process them for 30 minutes. All right, guys, I brought you out here because I feel like we need to cool off and we need to resolve the situation. Things got a little bit heated in there. At first, we're just playing around. I don't want to be outcasted or stigmaed from the Asian community thinking that I'm white. The white community thinking I'm Asian, you know? 
Yeah. I realized that I was doing what other people were doing to me when I was growing up. You go through similar problems and I think that's really important to realize that we both are outcasted. We both felt that way. You're only making the situation worse, I think, when you perpetuate it that way, but it's better to find what you have in common. There's no shadow without light, guys. And just know that shadows exist because there's light. You have to look towards the light. Hug it out. Yes, I'm we, good. we need a little bromance, okay? A little bromance. Just hug it out. supposed to be a my dream then tell me why am i in this nightmare if everything real is it what it seems then how do i win when no one fights me just trying to figure it all out today we did unexpectedly boys <laughs> we definitely realized that the shadow color is definitely beautiful but we also learned that we shouldn't be living in the shadows of ourselves right you guys love your hair color I do oh yeah love it so you see even though we use a level nine throughout Everett's ends it still appear deeper because ash and smoke colors will always absorb light there's so much pigment in it because I think in the past we didn't have con that much control in ash pigments, right, Nora? Absolutely. I just love how like smoky and wearable it is, and I think it's beautiful for both guys and girls. So I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. I'm gonna leave all the links below so you can stalk Nora and our models. Bye bye. Oh.